I'm just, I'm blessed with good health, okay? I am so fortunate that at 55 years of age, I don't wake up every morning with knee pain or hip pain or back pain or something like that. My workouts, I separate into four different days. And uh, there's uh, a chest and shoulder day, chest, shoulder, triceps specifically. Um, I do a leg and arm day. I have a balance and agility day where I just do a majority of movements and, and balance type activities. And then I do uh, a back and forearm day. And each day, and, and, and I plan, I, I don't plan to work out any specific number of days each week or each month. I just, you know, if I'm feeling good, you know, each and every day, I go to work out each and every day. But uh, during my mother's pregnancy, uh, very late into the pregnancy, uh, first week in March actually, uh, my older brother was asleep in bed. He was uh, less than a year old at that time. Um, and my mother felt like she had to go to the bathroom and she uh, you know, got up, walked to the bathroom and uh, her, she you know, sat down and, and basically her entire uterine lining just washed right out of her. And I don't remember the name of the syndrome, but the, what, what happened is my shoulder, the, the shoulder of, of my body pinched off the umbilical cord against my mother's hip bone. And basically the result of that is a spontaneous abortion. Now, obviously, fortunately, I was too large at that point to actually you know, be aborted also, but with the uterine lining being washed out, I wasn't getting enough oxygen. You know, it, it, I, I was you know, almost getting no nutrition and oxygen for what turned out to be you know, between one and two hours. But yeah, that was, it was a very complicated birth. It was a very difficult time, obviously for my mother and father. When I was finally delivered, um, I uh, wasn't breathing, didn't have a heartbeat. I mean, I'm told all this stuff, obviously. Uh, I'm told that I was a dark purple, a deep dark purple from head to toe. And uh, what, the, uh, what Dr. Hirsch did you know, very wise doctor, he uh, asked his nursing staff to draw two baths of water, one hot and one cold. And, and what the idea was is I was going to be dipped from hot bath of water to cold bath of water. And it, just like in the summertime, if somebody, you know, comes up behind you and squirts you with a, a hose and it's cold water, the first thing you do is, <gasps> well, that's exactly what he wanted me to do is start and I take a deep breath and you know get myself to uh, start breathing. That worked, <laughs> um, and uh, I guess uh, because I was so oxygen deprived, I was just I, I was I was crying like wailing, like you know trying to you know suck in as much air as I could. Um, and then the uh, other result of being oxygen deprived was that. I uh, suffered a certain amount of, of brain damage, a certain amount of brain cells died from lack of oxygen, which uh, actually led to um, uh, learning disabilities that I had to deal with as I was growing up and you know, still deal with today, actually. And uh, also some difficulty with uh, coordination. Uh, but like I said, I mean, you know, happy ending. I'm here, you know, talking to you right now. And, and, and I was able to turn that somewhat negative learning disability situation into a positive because it helped me develop the mentality of always trying my best. Actually, in 1983, uh, even though I'd heard of summer professional football and even though I was aware it existed, I really didn't know much about it. Actually, a, a friend of mine and I were considering um, participating in, or, or with a semi-pro football team, I should say, uh, out of Buffalo. 
It's actually a team called the Buffalo Geminis. And uh, for whatever reason, you know, because it wasn't meant to be that year in 1983, that team folded. It, it disbanded, you know, just as they were going to get ready for a, a season. So I uh, didn't play in 1983, which was a year after I graduated from college in 1982. But then in 1984, I became aware of a team in Syracuse, uh, the same friend who was, we were going to uh, try out with Buffalo Geminis. He wasn't interested in playing anymore, but he told me that a friend of his from uh, college played with a team in Syracuse and that that was a you know, fairly well-run team and you know, maybe uh, get connected with them. So I, uh, I made a contact. Uh, they were actually in a transition period. They were changing ownership. They actually were close to disbanding also, but uh, changed ownership and uh, played with them starting in 1984. Uh, through and including 1990. In the year 2000, uh, the, the uh, summer pro football is typically in, in Northeast America, played in the spring and the summer. Uh, and, and when I finished that season, actually, you know, the playoffs went into September, but that was when my daughter, who uh, was born in 1994, was entering kindergarten. And I basically thought, you know, I've had a lot of fun. I've enjoyed myself. I've had good experience playing football and just playing sports in general. You know, now it's time for me to be a, a father, you know, be a spectator for my daughter involved with <coughs> indoor soccer or, you know, choral performances in school or, 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 or things like that. Yeah, I, <coughs> I, I decided that I would, uh, you know, step out of the uh, arena and into the, uh, the, the stands. And to tell you the truth, uh, between 2001 and 2010, that was you know, a major time of, of my daughter's uh, upbringing and a major time of her going from childhood into her, uh, her years as a high school teenager. I just wanted, I had such a great childhood myself, I just wanted to do what I could do to uh, help my daughter uh, have a great childhood. And by that time, uh, <coughs> my ex-wife and I were not together anymore, and uh, so I wanted to do as much as a single parent as I could to uh, you know, help my daughter have as uh, enjoyable a childhood as she could have. Well, and actually, it was actually, I played again in 2011. Actually, what happened was, is in 2010 uh, was when I came up to Erie County. I moved from uh, Batavia, uh, Genesee County, to um, Erie County. When I was first up here, it was really just a matter of, you know, let me get used to the surroundings and the settings. In 2011, um, when I'd been up here, close to a year, early 2011, that was when um, it was going to be the, the summer between uh, my daughter's <coughs> freshman and sophomore year of high school. And I just, you know, thought, you know, Danielle's, you know, an older teenager, she uh, <coughs> is starting to do, you know, her own uh, activities with peers. So I thought to myself, you know, uh, I should find, you know, something for me to do during the, the summer. And I thought, you know, I love football. I love sports. Uh, I'll contact a team that I know has been very successful. And I knew they were very successful because they played us several times when I played with Batavia, uh, the team, the uh, Buffalo Gladiators. Uh, and uh, I contacted the offensive captain and offered my service said, you know, I'm more than happy to, if you need an assistant coach to come and coach, uh, maybe I could uh, do stats for you at the home games. You know, if I'm just a statistician, I'm not sure if I want to travel to some of your away games, but, you know, I'll be glad to help. And uh, he said, because, you know, he had seen me a couple times at a fitness center, uh, 
in, in the previous six months or so, he said, Philly said, if you come out and you know are part of the team, there's no way you're going to be on the sidelines. You're going to be a player on this team. You're going to you know participate a, as a player. I, I came back and, and played. Uh, in uh, 2011, 2012, and 2013 with uh, the Buffalo Gladiators. And then uh, last season, last spring and summer, I played with it's actually a new team, an expansion team, the Buffalo Knights, um, that uh, actually some of the players from the Gladiators helped to uh, start. My name's Phil Zickel. I'm 55 years old. I still play semi-professional football in Erie County, New York.